Yeah, I mean, as we see today on the slope, there's some fantastic racers and to have everyone from all over Britain coming to compete here at Hill End is brilliant. And the level of skiing and some of the angles I saw, I've never seen such big angles on the skis on dry slope. Kids out there getting that grip, working hard on their edges to get that grip and then taking the technical elements that they're learning on the dry slope that will then go on to the winter slope, which will then lead them on their way on that long journey, hopefully all the way up to Olympic level. Ailey, first run, you're in first position, skied really relaxed on the way down, confident run. How was your head? How did you approach the second run? Well, the first run I tried to be like really relaxed and that obviously worked and I tried the same approach for the second, but with the pre added pressure it kind of got to my head slightly <laughs> so I could like feel my heart slightly faster and even like subconsciously. <laughs> The first run was pretty close, the time difference between the two of you. Yeah. Still pretty close in the second run. Yeah, the first run was 0.2, I think. And then, yeah, after overall, I think it's really close. <laughs> and competition here, you're racing against some Scottish girls, like Steve Cole, but you're also racing from, from, from girls south of the border as well. Good to yeah. see a, a range of racers here today. Yeah, it's really good because um, I'm so used to like a small group of people, like, so it's nice to see new faces and see new styles and new competition. Okay, Jenny, British Championships at Hill End. Yeah. First time doing a big race here outside university stuff. How was the race for you today? I actually really enjoyed it. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it, but um, both the courses are quite challenging, but at the same time, like a fun challenge. And you got to the bottom and you just felt like really excited and stuff. So it was, it was really fun. It was one of my favourite races this year. And that's one of the longest slaloms you've probably done in dry slope. Yeah, definitely. How, how does that compare with other races? I was knackered at the bottom. <laughs> it was a lot more tiring, yeah, definitely. And your overall time, you had the results so far? Uh, yeah, I think I came third, so I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty good for a long slope. And you've travelled from how far to get here? Uh, so I'm originally from Surrey, but I actually um, I'm at uni at Leeds, so it wasn't too far. About halfway. <laughs> it's a lot further than most have made it here today. Yeah. Well done so far. Thank you very much. First run, you're a little bit behind so yeah. I put the pressure on for run two yeah yeah I mean it's good to see Ailey coming through and love getting a bit of competition past years it's you know I've not had someone pushing me so much so today I had to really really go for it and that nah, it's great to see and yeah I was behind first run uh, two tenths of a second and then I had to go for it second run and managed to just sneak ahead I think so yeah no it's good and different courses first and second run completely yeah. different type of skiing yeah, definitely. The first run was really turny. Um, the second run, a wee bit more open, but with a lot more combinations, a wee bit more difficult. And with the combinations, you had to think a little bit more with your brain. Uh, the first run was turny, but both good sets from Paul and Mark. So, yeah, no, it's good. So it's a Scotland, Scotland, England, one, two, three. Yeah. Good to see others from south of the border and elsewhere coming up for this type of event. Yeah, definitely. There's people from up north in Scotland, people from England, people from Wales. You know, It's definitely good to see. And this afternoon we've got the dual slalom head to head against all the countries. And hopefully we can pull out another Scotland win, but we'll just have to wait and see. The pressure's on for the dual slalom. That starts in about an hour's time. Yeah. So first run was pretty pretty close between you and the young guys coming up hot behind? Yeah, there's a few young lads right up in there, um, just a hundredth behind actually to second place, so it was good, you know. Um, it's always uh, hard for an old boy to come and you never really know what the young, young guns are going to bring, so but it's great, you know, it's great to have that competition from the young lads, um, pushing, pushing hard for the win, it's cool. And in terms of ski racing, you're involved in coaching and racing still yourself? There's people from all over the UK for this event. Good thing to come up and do. Yeah, really good thing. Um, what I really like about it as well is that it's such a difficult slope as well, you know. Um, so it's a slightly different event to your traditional dry slopes because, you know, it's, it's, there's more terrain, it's longer. You know, so for me it plays into the hands more to a, maybe a snow skier. Um, but, you know, your tactics are slightly different. You have to think and approach the day in a different way. So great event and... Um, a fitting place for the British champs. It's good. I mean, since I didn't know much of what was going on when I was racing, because it was always, you know, away myself, you know, with the other guys my level. But when you, you know, when I retired, I got involved in uh, a bit of coaching with the Fast Cab and the sort of Scottish team. And you know, from that, I've seen these guys now grow up to the level just below Dave. I mentioned Zach Vinton earlier on, you know, he's the sort of level below Dave now, but there's also a load below them. The kids that are racing here in the under 10s, under 12s, under 14s, I think 
you know, British skiing is looking good, you know, positive for the future. And Scottish skiing, how does that fare in the UK, with this being the toughest ski slope here? Well, it's brutal. You just got to look up at that steepness out there. You know, you, you, there, there are plenty of other slopes in Scotland that are good. But, you know, they're, they're great for, for people getting going, you can get training. But then this is just another level, you know. It's, uh, you bring that steepness into it, and you know, even experienced skiers come down and like, oh, hang on. Hey, so it's great. You know, I, well, put it this way, I've just, my kids have just joined, so they're going to be skiing here most weeks now. So are we going to see a Baxter uh, heading for the Olympics in a few years? Well, we'll see. Again, that's up to him. I'll do what my folks did to me. You know, it's up to him. Brilliant. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Alan. Well, I'm from Killington Mountain School. Killington Mountain School is one of the top ski racing academies in the U.S., based in Killington, Vermont, which people may have heard of with the Women's World Cup being there for the next couple of years. And uh, I came over to visit some of our Scottish athletes and families. We have uh, several Scottish athletes at Killington Mountain School. And I uh, came here to visit them and also to visit the British Dry Slope Championships to see the up and coming talent at the races today. And what do you think of the racing that you've seen here so far, Tom? Oh, it's fantastic. It's amazing. The venue here at Hill End is quite challenging. And the depth of the, of the talent from the very young ones, the U10s, U12s, up through is really quite impressive. And have you had much interest from athletes here for Killington Mountain School? Yeah, we've had a history of uh, good ties with, with the Scottish Snow Sports uh, Organization and we've had uh, several Scottish athletes coming through our program over the years and we hope to continue that um, as we move forward. I think uh, here at Hill End uh, in the middle of the Snow Sports Centre is just fantastic for all skiers throughout Scotland. Um, you know, it's the longest ski slope in all of Europe. It's one of the steepest. Some would say it's almost as steep as a World Cup slalom, so it's a real challenge, a real technical challenge in comparison to some of the other dry slopes around.